Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry. This Sith Lord is a metalhead. Today, December 24th, 2023, Christmas Eve. Hope everybody's doing good today. Hope everybody's going to get ready to celebrate with the family. I'm uh, just over here getting myself together. Um, eventually we're going to, you know, get dressed, get all our packages in order and get out to the family. Um, wanted to uh, discuss Rebel Moon. All right. I just finished watching it not too long ago. I uh, wanted to get a chance to really reflect and, you know, let it sink in. And, um, and I got to say something. Um, look, I really get where a lot of, um, you know, some, I guess a lot of the critics maybe didn't like it or, you know, the basic snack, uh, Zack Snyder theme of it and so on and so forth. But to be honest with you, I didn't, I thought the movie was good. I'm going to probably be one of the very few people uh, who actually will say that I actually enjoyed this movie. Um, it had some, uh, it had a decent story. Um, the character development was good. You got to understand what the, the main protagonist, what she was all about. She had a backstory. You understood what she was about, who she was, why she could kick ass as a female, and so on and so forth. So it wasn't just one of these woke females that were just going in there and just kicking every man's ass just because she has a history, okay? Again, this is something that would piss off a lot of people with the whole Rey and Star Wars thing where she just picks up a lightsaber and is kicking everybody's ass, all right? Kara, she has a history in this movie where you, you, you it basically spills out through a part of the movie where you get to understand her, you know, what was going on with her. And, um, you know, just the, 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 the building of, of the movie itself, what it was going through, you know, the whole reason why they want to rebel, you know, again, it had, yeah, it takes a lot of, it cherry picks off a lot of movies, okay? Seven Samurai, 300, Star Wars, Total Recall, The Matrix, Doom, um, even Chappie. I, I thought the robot uh, that was in this movie, you know, who was, you know, he became like one of those things where you, you feel bad for him. Remind me so much of Chappie. You know, that's, uh, I think Anthony Hopkins is doing the voice of that robot. And, um, you know, again, it was more like, okay, if you watch this movie and you just look at it for what it is, it, you know, it, was, it, it wasn't boring. You know, it went through its process of what they were doing when they were trying to get all these little warriors or seven samurai style characters together. And, um, you know, I'm actually interested to see what the second one brings. Okay. The only issue that I do have is that I believe Zack Snyder wanted to make this movie it was rated R. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened with Netflix that they didn't let him do his rated R version. Um, you know, and I heard that there's now a director's cut to this, which I don't understand why you can just let him just do his movie the way he wanted to do it. Just let it be rated R. It's freaking Netflix. This is the same freaking company that put cuties out. A bunch of 12 year olds twerking. You mean to tell me you couldn't put a rated R Zack Snyder film in and just make it three hours and change and let people just decide to watch? I mean, people spend six hours binging shit on Netflix. You mean somebody can sit down for three hours for a Zack Snyder movie? At that, I don't get. At that, I don't really understand. But look, that you know, this is my review. Um, I'm just, you know, people pretty much, uh, you know, already have their way how they feel about the movie. They feel it's all over the place. But look, again, I didn't have an issue with the way it was moving. I actually didn't mind the way they were picking up on these characters. Some of them have a good story. Um, and again, if you're going to go and compare it to Star Wars, I would sit down and watch this again before you, tr you torture me to watch the, 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 you know, any of the Star Wars sequels, all right? Especially the, you know, uh, The Last Jedi, oh. <coughs> anyway, but that's my take. Um, I'm interested to see, you know, now what's going to happen with that uh, director's cut. I think it's supposed to come out right before the second part, I guess. Again, don't know why they had it do it like that. They should have just let him do his shit. But anyway, whatever, man. But look, I know a lot of people are not really uh, fond of the movie. And nine out of ten times, I usually have the same feelings when it comes to a lot of the, the, the people in the nerd community for some of the, some movies. 
And um, this one, I, I, I must totally disagree. I actually enjoyed it. And I know I'm going to get bombarded in the comments about it, but it, it is what it is. You know, but hey, Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope everybody's having a great time. I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel. And, uh, you know, any, everybody else who's new, old, appreciate it. Also, don't forget to uh, go into my Facebook page, The Sith Lords Merch, to go and pick up some uh, some uh, some cool stuff. Got some new designs there. And uh, we'll just keep this shit rolling. I want to thank the solid producer, Rich, always coming in and, and throwing in some pretty cool videos for me and some reviews and stuff. He's been a great part of the channel, along with uh, my other channel, that Gold Metal Show, which he's a big part of, and I thank him every day for that, man. Thanks a lot, Rich. Appreciate it. All right, guys, that's all I got right now. This is my review of Rebel Moon. I feel it was a great movie. You might think otherwise, but that's what I got right now. All right? Take care. Enjoy the holidays. Barry, this Sith Lord is a metalhead. May the Force be with you.